How's it going guys, my name is Flixton and today we are building the Free Will Trade Center. We are on part 3 of the video. If you haven't seen part 1 or part 2 and you're not this far, uh, go back through the videos and make sure you are because this is shaping out to be a great build and it will look great in your city if you have one. So let's finish up, hopefully today, maybe we finish up, I'm not entirely sure. Um, I mean I was expecting like a one part, three parts, Jesus. Um, but yeah, so what we're going to do today is this section here, and this is the right wing. So we've done the left, the front, and the center. Um, and what we should end up is, with is this bit here. So if we come back to the ground, we haven't been to the ground for quite a while. And we're going to go to the back of the building. So just as we did in part one, the back area over there, we're going to be over here today. Uh, and... This mirrors this bit over here. So, yeah, nice and simple. So, if we come to the inside of the orange here, this is going to be your starting block. We go across one, two, three, four, and then the fifth block. And then five here. Sixth block, five again. Sixth block, five again. Sixth block, four. And then fifth block. So, we end up with exactly the same as over there. And what you can do is just build these straight up to match um, with these uh, the quartz stairs here. Uh, nice and simple. Uh, but if you just want to build it straight up, what we're going to do is we're going to go from ground. And we're going to go 120 blocks high. So really quite tall. Uh, I mean, the building, it's a bit big, but it's not massive. So I think... It looked really good in some areas of your city. Um, obviously, it won't be dominated by other buildings. I'm not entirely sure how big one World Trade Center is and two World Trade Center is. For all I know, this one's bigger. I mean, if this one's bigger, that's that's a bit of a pain. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, hopefully, it's not. I don't really know. I mean, this is the best I could do it, given its size and all the details it needed. Um, so I could have made the front section smaller, but it just didn't it didn't look as good. So yeah, so remember we're gonna do these ones exactly the same as like the same pattern as we did over there, but 120 blocks high. So really simple. Um, and what you can do is with all the pillars that you've just built up, just put a slab on them and connect them over to your center pillars that you had. Um, you did these in the last video, so just connect them up. Uh, and look at that, we've almost finished this building, looking great. Um, so what we're going to do again is we're going to come, I'm just going to go to the back and we're going to miss four blocks, one, two, three, four, and then on the fifth block we just do what we've done on every part of the video so far and we're just doing this, we're building a cross on the pillars side and <clears throat> when we finally go to the side of the building we'll go outwards so just do this all the way up the building on the side and that side and what you should end up with is what you had with the other side as well so it's just I don't really know what it's for I said this in the last video uh, I think it's just for a little bit of buttressing on the building uh, that means to support so yeah um so we have it in front and thing here so let's just make sure we add it in on every part so that you don't get confused uh so just remember if you do get confused it's the same as you've got over here well well it would be if um if i chose to do it right um so what we're going to do now is undo what I just did. Technical difficulties. I wish I had um, some kind of uh, technical difficulties video to put in, uh, but I don't. So we're just gonna we're just gonna go through it because we're strong. We can do it. Um, so yeah, it won't take too long. Um, I thought I was doing it slightly wrong. I wasn't entirely sure. I was looking at it. And I was thinking this looks a little bit wrong, but now we kept it. Um, so yeah, like that, and then obviously on this bit, not this way, 
we're going the other way as well. So we're just going to change that over to like that. So hopefully you were doing it right and you're just slapping the monitor and thinking, I'm better than this guy. Um, so yep, we have this pattern going up the building. It's quite good like that. And you do this on this one and this one here. Uh, and then it'll end up with this pattern like you've got all the way up the building here. And if you haven't done that yet, pause the video, make sure you've got it all sorted and come back in a second. So hopefully you've done all of that. Obviously I haven't um, paused it or whatever. Uh, and we're going to do this. So we're just going to continue with what we have at the front. And we're going to pull this all the way back. And uh, the glazing is exactly the same as it is on the other building. Oh, not of the building, sorry, the other side of the building. So, I don't, I don't really have to go through it with you, but I will do just because. Um, so remember, on this side of the building, we have it flat. So, with it like this. Now I haven't built the entire glazing all the way up because I thought I could do it, but uh, no, sorry, not like that. Go to the grey. Um, I should have been stopped by the grey, uh, but I wasn't. Yeah, so if you haven't got a barrier stopping you, make sure you have a barrier because you'll do what I just did and I'll get distracted because I'm talking as well. Um, but uh, I've actually just forgotten what I was saying. Oh yeah, I was. I didn't build it because I thought maybe if some of you are watching, just watching the tutorials and not building it um, before doing it, uh, it might be better for you or it also helps me if I can just quickly go over and see where it is and might be a bit blinded if it's not um, if it's all done sorry uh, so when we come up to this bit so we've gone up to the grey and we put in our barrier what we need to do now is go up four again on this section and you have exactly the same as you have on the other side where we come over to our pillars and we just wrap it around the building um, so we come out to the grey um, and this is why it goes in obviously just to outline this entire section so then we have well I'll do it at the front so it looks a little bit better um, we have this entire wrapping effect that goes around the building here and it comes in again for the, uh, the, the central columns but it's different and I built too high <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, I'm sorry. Uh, try not to follow what I'm doing. But when you do come up to the top section here, once again, we outline it again so that we don't do what I just did and jump up too high. Um, and this will be this effect on the building. So I'll do this entire front wall with you guys. Um, so you have a lot of time to pause the video. If you're just watching this and you're thinking, I need to get this understanding of the building, it's fine. Um, but if you need to pause, pause and catch up with where we are. Make sure you've got all the glass done. Save you time in the future. Um, and we have just a little bit more to do. And then we can end this tutorial. Hopefully with you guys enjoying the build and liking what you've got. Um, so yeah, I'll do this last block here. Pull it down. And I'll show you what we should have on the front right now. So our entire building right now should be looking like this. And it might just be me, but I think it looks pretty good. I mean, it's quite tall. Um, looks perfect for a city. This is the front. The back obviously has all the cross braces on them and everything like that. I haven't built them yet. Um, and I don't like that door the way that we put in. I don't know when we did. I might have done that first video. I didn't like that. Um, and you can see it goes in. We can have a balcony here. Uh, but when I do start my city building series, I am really liking this building. So I'm going to put this in. It's It looks really good in my opinion. Um, obviously you guys might think differently. But I like the way that the brackets go over the glazing here. And then they go behind it here. It, the architect for the building did a really good job there um, but now what we can do is something slightly different so we go to the bottom of the building maybe 
I'm just trying to find my picture. I can't find it. One minute. There we go. Um, so, what I have is this entire section here now. Um, now, if you're wondering, actually, I might just say this. If you're wondering, okay, this is a bit clear. I'm looking at some pictures and there are lines all the way across the building. Yeah, yeah, there are. But you're forgetting that I don't know where it would be. So let's just count up. Um, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Uh, let's just say we're putting in our floors our floors do the job for us of putting in the lines um, and that's basically what I can say about that um, so if you're looking at pictures of Free World Trade Center you'll see there are lines that go all the way up the building but they're on the inside of the glazing which is why I haven't actually done anything to the exterior of the building because I can see they are just floors of the building uh, and this is the structural um, side of the building like the outside curtain so yeah I don't I didn't need to worry about that and it's the same for the bottom as well they're on the inside um, so you can clearly tell that they are the floors um, the only things that needed to be done were these brackets and um, the pillars so I just quickly say that in case you were wondering and we're gonna go to the top of the building and just flying around um, and the pillars actually do this so what we can do here is delete these and we'll see what it's like but the front one comes up we can do this what we'll do it 10 blocks 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 yeah 10 actually we'll, no, we'll do it 15 so 11 12 13 14 15 and do it on the other side as well so 15 blocks uh, that's too many. Still too many. I can't delete it. Um, there we go. So 15 blocks, and you do that on the front and the back. Um, just be aware. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And again, so 15. There we go. I actually did that right that time. Isn't that good? Um, and that's how the building is. I'm not just randomly putting these in. Um, and we're not finished yet, obviously, because you're thinking, well, we have this entire section here. What, what do we do? Well, simple. We pull these across here. So just below um, where we have the half slabs. And we do this on both sides. So, yeah. And you do it on this side as well so you drop again just below the half slabs on the pillars themselves and I haven't guessed it yet maybe have maybe haven't um, what well, we can what we can do here is just fill in this entire section here we're done with it now so we can just close off the roof uh, and you do it for the right hand side of the building as well um, so yeah try not to make a block out of it because you just keep messing up um, so we've got a hard slab roof, and if you're playing on peaceful, no, sorry, um, easy, yep, yeah, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't play with mobs, I just build, <laughs> um, this is good because if it's dark, mobs can't spawn on this, um, no animals can spawn on this or anything, so you're all good there, but they will spawn down there, so you might want to change that, but then you can't place anything on it if you do, and you've got a thin roof, as you see. Um, so yeah, it's simple, and you can do that over here as well. Like I say, I can't sprint. There we go. Um, and that would just give it its finishing touches on those bits there. But yeah, so let's just finish off this little bit here, and then we'll move into what we have to do for the final bit. Um, now this is where it really starts to look like Riverside South Canary Wharf, uh, which is Diamond Hotel. I said it in the last video if you watched it. Um, and well the roof looks like that anyway so what we do now I'll just get that into a sec uh, get into that in a second what we do now is we come from here and we go across we take it over and we pull it up we come back down we go across take it over we pull it up come back down 
we go across, we pull it up, and we go back down. You see, it's there. It's maybe some of you figured it out just from looking at it, but it's right there, staring you in the face. Um, and that's that bit. So if we do it on the other side, what we do is you can just come from that if you want, but I'm just gonna do it from this. Uh, go across, pull it up, and obviously these bits are a bit longer. Um, I shouldn't worry about that though. Uh, if you're thinking once again about there's clearly some lines, they are the floors. Um, so the floors will out will give you kind of like crosses. Um, like, say you don't want that. Well, you have to do floors on this. If you don't do floors, you can do what I was doing earlier, and you can just put in um, the lines that I've got. If you look down there, we've got those lines there. Um, so, if you haven't done that, do that. Uh, just to get its detail that it needs, because otherwise it's going to look a bit odd. Uh, so yeah, and final one there so these are all in line obviously and what you do now is we come up to this section here and with these we take that off there take that off there and we put in these four blocks here and you can actually put those back in because we didn't really need to take them out uh, and these ones go up uh, one two three We'll do four for now. Like I say, this is the first time I'm actually building this myself, so this is all a little bit of experiments um, just to get it a bit right. Yeah, four will be good enough, I think, for these. So two, three, four, and nice and simple. And if you want, and you want to do it like the building does it, what you can do is actually change the half slabs. Because on the top, we if you want to do it like it is, but maybe you want to change it up and, I don't know, we use glass plane, plane. I say every video, uh, every tutorial that I do, it's not a plane, it's a pain. Um, and it's a pain to say as well, obviously. Um, and what you want to do here is just place your glass paint on these sections here. Just pull them across. And that will give you a kind of roof type feature. Um, and if you don't like it like that, what you can do obviously is just get rid of these maybe um, and just put them like that. But it's, it's all up to you. Obviously, I'm, I prefer it like this. And if you find a better way, use your better way. But um, for the glass panes, this is the way to do it, I think. Um, and this is the top of your building. Now we've got one little feature to put in obviously, uh, if you know me you'll know what I'm about to say. I'm not going to say rooftop like equipment, because if you want that you can do it, I'm not going to put that in. I mean, all the rooftop equipment I'd have in these top floors to be honest. Um, not those ones down there, but some of these top floors I'd definitely put in like the rooftop stuff. That When I say rooftop stuff I mean like the vents. Um, the computer software maybe, all of that stuff, that can go in on this bit here. Oh yeah, and on the front, we just run the glass panes over again, uh, so that it's nice and simple. But, on this one, what we do have is the central columns that you had down here, so we're about to just change it up a bit. What we do have is if we go all the way down to the bottom of the building, nice and slowly, uh, what we do is we leave a gap of one, two, three, four, five, and then on the sixth block we do it. So if we go all the way up to the top of the building again, you can do this if you want, you don't have to do it, and the way you do it can change varying on whoever's doing it. Um, but So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then on the seventh block, pretty sure this is how it was, but yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, it was on the sixth block, wasn't it? Uh, so we have a gap of four. What you do now is you just pull these up to the same height as over there. So that would be four. Nice and simple. Done. 
uh, and do that on the back of the building as well obviously so let's just finish off with these front bits here and then I'll do the final feature and then we can take a look at the finished product of this building uh, say this is the first time I've been building it as well I think we did quite well um, so what we need to do is we need our plane lights I mean what's the building without its plane lights we don't want a plane hitting it um, the irony there uh, you can obviously put them on each of these you don't have to and maybe if you want a little bit more light I just quickly finish these ones uh, we'll forget about all of those if you want a little bit more light glowstone or maybe a beacon we can get rid of our line wall now obviously we don't need it what we can do instead is get rid of that put that there I think the beacon will probably look a little bit better um, than the glowstone but yeah Actually, let's test that. No, the glowstone looks a lot better, let's be honest. Um, and we have our plain lights, just warning lights. So, look at that, we have our building. Uh, I think that's everything. Hopefully, I didn't miss anything out. Um, so, yeah. Hopefully, you like the building. Um, maybe been able to follow the tutorial. Uh, hopefully, you've got everything done. And I'm liking the building. And looking at it, I'm thinking it's really good. Uh, good first build, um, especially as it's done a tutorial as well. Um, so, thank you guys very much for watching. I've been Plixton. Uh, please rate and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Just one last thing before you go. I've just realised I didn't tell you what to do on this top section here. Uh, it's a really simple thing. You notice how I left these, uh, well, here on this section, just to clarify, uh, and down there as well. Um, I didn't tell you what to do, so you notice how I left these bits here, so we have the half slab going over, and then there's a drop down. What we do is we just place the glazing in these bits here. Uh, so that should be it for this building, actually. Uh, but I don't think I said it, uh, so I thought I'd need to just add it in at the last part of the video. And this is what it looks like when put into practice. So that's that bit there, and it goes all the way down. So once again, thank you guys very much for watching. I have been Plixton. Please rate and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.